hi guys hi guys welcome back welcome back to my channel it's a girl chanel and today i'm going to do a q and a q and a questions what it's like working on a cruise ship so yes my friends and family always ask you know what it's like to work on a cruise ship so today i'm gonna finally answer their questions i'm so excited yes i'm gonna finally answer their questions so my first question is how did you end up working on a cruise ship so first and foremost i always want to work on a cruise ship always want to work on a cruise ship yes so i finally heard about an agency so i applied through the agency yes they were recruiting a lot of people so i applied through there and from there you know i got through and i started working overseas the process wasn't not long you know i have all the requirements yes yeah, so i applied and i finally got through i was so, so excited yes yeah, so you know i start on the cruise ship you know um for like three days we had like you know orientations and stuff like that and then going on the cruise ship we had like one week you know training and all these type of different stuff because it's the first time you know you're working on a cruise ship so you have to do wet drill you have to do so much things you know yes um you have to do like uh, training, um, safety training and all those type of things. So it was, you know, fun for the first week. And then after I start, you know, in the, cause I work in the kitchen, like for the pizza shop, I work in the pizza shop. So it was so excited doing different things because I used to work back home in hotels and it was getting so much bored. So, you know, I just said, okay, I need a change. I want to go international No yes i want to go international now so that was you know a breakthrough for me it was so much fun working with different people like six different nationalities and you know a different culture they come from different country filipino indians so much different people you know even some countries i'd never heard of so you know going there and working with people it was phenomenal it was great it was wonderful it was a magical experience it was great yeah so yeah that is you know how i started out um yeah um, working on a cruise ship that's how i end up working on a cruise ship yes but it was it was super fun it was amazing it was great yes i didn't regret you know going to different places also oh my gosh it was like um working but it's like was not a vacation but yeah working and going different places you don't have to pay to go to different places it was so much fun it was i go to so much place my first contract i go to like um alaska oh my gosh it was cold it was it was really good because it's the first time i'm seeing snow <laughs> so it was you know it was really really good so yeah i glad that i did enjoy yeah i made the right decision on going on the cruise ship yes so my second question is what are the living condition what are the living conditions and free time like on board a cruise ship at sea so i will go with the living condition first the living condition you don't you have to live um two person in a cabin like regular crew you live with two person in a cabin and for example like manager the captain and you know for the manager is in charge of um for example the yali the food manager yeah they have a cabin for themselves and um regular crew yeah we have to share cabin so this space you don't have too much privacy you know you have to share cabin with people um crew which sometimes it's good because if you find a nice um roommate it's really good it's interesting when you finish working you know you have a peace of mind so it's 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 really good like you know um for living with different culture of people yeah so it, it was really good you know um so the the free time well actually you know when you finish working you can have fun you know you can go to the crew bar you can go to the gym you can go to church because they have fellowship there depending they have christian fellowship they have muslim you know so if you're muslim you know you can have your little um room where you worship and you know um buddhi buddhist and all these type of um religion yeah they they are there to um 
you know worship because you know they worship to different idols and stuff um yeah and you can go on the deck you can hang out you know with your friends or take some fresh air after work so you have fun you have recreational room where you can you know maybe read a book and you have um you can play pool you can do all different things so it's not that boring where as you finish working you just in your cabin you can choose to do what you want to do you know maybe you go to the pot you go to a party to have a drink or whatever it's like so it's not that you know you're just working working all day and you don't have a life <laughs> you have a life yes so you choose whatever you want to do but yeah it's 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 fun like you know to work on the ship where it's like a house I would not rec no I would not say it. it's like a hotel yes where everything is there you know you have the cruise shop you have medical center you have everything that you can name you understand it's there so yeah so that is yeah the living condition and free time what you do in your free time yes yeah and now um, my next question is the best days <laughs> working on a cruise ship so the best days for me three right three best days for me one when the ship goes to Falmouth right and I can get to see my son oh my gosh those are the best days those are the best days I move like flash you know <laughs> I do my work very fast hey, that day it's they do my work extra fast if I used to take two hours I take like 30 minutes that's all when I you know my son is coming on the ship yes that's how i move fast because you can bring your family on board you know you fill out a form um like in advance maybe like 73 72 hours in advance you can fill out a form depending on where for example the ship is going to um st lucia yeah you fill out the form and your family can come on board yes so i always do it for my son yeah man me no sir we just do me work fast 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 <laughs> We don't work extra fast, yes. And the next thing, when vacation, so if I should sign off like tomorrow, people, me, I don't sleep the night. Me just anxious to go home because after seven months or five months, you just want, you know, you just want a peace of mind. You just want to go where your family or your friends is. You know, you just want to be free. Yeah, so I mean, that is one of the things. And going to different places so one one contract i go I, we did 11 day cruise that was super super great 11 day cruise you know and i go to aruba i go to st Kitts and nevis i go to um i go to so many places i go out of the 11 days we go like eight um different um countries or island it was super great oh my gosh Normally I get like two hours in the afternoon to, you know, rest or relax, whatever you want to do. Me, I go outside. I don't care about no sleep. I sleep in the night. <laughs> I just go outside and, you know, because I never go to those um, countries before or island. So I just finish and fast is me go outside. Fast is me jump in a clothes and gone outside. Yes, because I want to take pictures and buy souvenir and stuff like that. Yes, it was super great yeah man it was it was really fun so when i'm going on vacation seeing my son are going to the um, places those are the best days for me i'm telling you not that my work days are not good but those time vacation seeing my son and yeah going to different ports amazing amazing <laughs> it was super great man yeah man those time mm -mm. i don't care about nothing else do my work and do those things go outside yeah man and spend time with my son he loves it on the ship it's super great because you can do everything like a guest you can you know um only that you don't have a room <laughs> but you can go eat enjoy go in the pool whatever it is yes you can do all of those things so it's super great my next question is where did the ship go where the ship goes well the ship goes to different different places so for example if we're in the caribbean right um we go to jamaica grand cayman bahamas um we go to all those places you know if we're in the caribbean likewise if we're in europe you know you go to norway you go to iceland you go to all of those places in europe so it depends on where the ship goes 
that's where you know we go if we're in the caribbean or if we're in um europe or if we're in um alaska you know we go Kitchigan, we go skagway juno it's great may i tell you you know going so much place you don't have to pay for it no plane ticket or you don't have to you know you just want to know so when you go outside you can buy your souvenir what or whatever it is but you just enjoy yourself that's it <laughs> but it's really great man it's really great to work on a cruise ship yeah you go different places i mean i must have said that <laughs> yes so yeah man depends on where you go yes um with the cruise ship if it's in the caribbean whatever yeah you go you go to Caribbean if it's in Europe. You go to you know England, all those places. Yeah, but I never go to Europe I, because of this virus. Yeah, but I really want to go to Europe. I I heard that it's really good. It's really really good. You go to Paris, all those places, everywhere you can think of. Yes, they go in Europe. Um, my next question is, what do you do when it's get rocky? When it get rocky, well, when the ship is yeah when it when the sea is really rough yeah the ship rocks sometimes and it's really disgust yes <laughs> it's really terrible because depending on all your body you you will maybe throw up or you for me i always feel sleepy you know like when you're in you, you know when you're in a, maybe a muck or something and it's like um going um, to this two side that's how I feel like I feel so sleepy and the other feeling that I have um, you know if I'm like hungry or my stomach is not full yeah I need to get a green apple green apple helps a lot a lot a lot a lot yeah green apple it helps a lot I'm telling you once you know that I need they are seasickness pill but I never take the pill before once I know if the ship, you know, like I'm start feeling that, I eat the apple and then I feel really good. Yeah. But the apple really helps. Once the ship is rocking, the green apple, that is the remedy. Yeah, that is the remedy. I'm telling you, that helped me so much. Or I try not to let my stomach be a little empty. Because once I'm, maybe I'm not feeling hungry. But, you know, my stomach is not full where I can, you know, manage that sea um how the ship is rocking because when it's rocking really hard i'm telling you even the things on the shelves or stuff like that is moving they have to tie the trolleys and stuff like that that's all it's rock yeah sometimes but sometimes it's okay like you know depending on how high the deck is that's all you know that's how much you're feeling the motion of the the the, the ship like yeah but if maybe you're lower yeah depends but sometimes it's really hot it's really rocky man I just want to go in my bed and to sleep sometimes I finish work and when you're in the bed you shower you're, you're going like this you have to hold on on the inside the shower I'm telling you it's really really that bad you're in the bed your the bed is moving literally literally moving like somebody's moving the bed that's all when the ship is rocking sometimes yeah it's like that so my next question is how do you keep in touch with your friends and family well we have internet you know you buy your megabytes depending i'm talking on the ship that i have because you have different ship different um rules different regulations whatever it is yeah but the ship that i'm on or the company the shipping company that i yeah that i work with um yeah you buy your megabytes and you can talk to your friends and family you know you buy it so whichever amount you want to buy you know how to manage it you understand when it's time you log out and to you know log back in when maybe you have your break or your rest time you're in a cabin you know you can talk to your family so i mean yeah i have to, we we get time to talk to our family you know it's not that bad where we cannot talk only maybe when the ship docks no we can talk while we're at sea yeah so we have internet you know yeah my next question is what's your favorite place that you visit what's your favorite place that you visit well my favorite place let me see because i go to so many places sometimes i don't even remember that i go to that place but um san francisco and los angeles yes those are my two favorite place yeah but it's really good i love los angeles you know it's good and um san francisco you know the bridge you know i take pictures because i love to take picture i love love to 
take picture yeah so wherever i go i take you know pictures and and you know put them in my album or you know i have a hard drive that i store them on but i have so many pictures unbelievable but it's good man you can remember you know and you show your kids or grandkids or you know your friends and family but it's good it's amazing yeah man so san francisco and los angeles yeah those are my two favorite places for now <laughs> until maybe i go to europe and then i say okay that place in europe or whatever do you get day off working on a cruise ship if i get day off i don't get no day off if you're working seven months or five months whatever it is six months you don't get no day off you just work for the seven days for the seven months seven days for the five months whatever it is you only get a little time off maybe you get um maybe few hours few hours time off but you never get an entire day a day off unless maybe you're sick or something and then and i don't call it a day off you know because if you're sick Oh, you're gonna enjoy that day depending on how you feel or stuff like that but you don't get an entire day like if you're on land and you're working at a hotel you don't get a day off on the ship so my sorry for that but no day off you have to look into that if you want to come on the cruise ship just ensure that you know that you're not going to get any day off no day off whatsoever so yeah that's how it is um my next question is do crew member date each other Hmm. Do you remember they date each other? Well, for sure, that is a yes, yes, yes. Mm hmm. For sure, man, yes. <laughs> they do date each other, yeah, man. Because I mean, you know, some people, some persons, they are away from their family. Some of them are single, whatever it is, but. I mean, you know, you're away for seven months or five months, you're out in the water, you know. So some persons, they need comfort and, you know, um, for, for, and you get to know people. So, I mean, you know, you get comfortable with the person and then maybe from there, you know, lead to other stuff. But, I mean, yeah, they do date on, um, on the ship. My next question is, do cruise ship employees live on the ship? You know, first time I never, before I started working on the ship, I, I was thinking, do they live on the ship or, you know, maybe the ship let them off. But it's like, it's not a silly question because it's just a question because you never know. Because if you don't know, if you don't know something, it's better to ask. You understand? So, yeah, they live on the ship. They live on the ship. So you have your cabins and, and stuff like that where, you know, you live, yeah. But you live only when your contract ends, that's the time you go home. Yes. My next question is how long is your how long is your contract? My contract before when I just start out, my contract was seven months and like two weeks. Yes, and then after I get like five months. Yes, so two months less, that is a lot. Oh my gosh. When you reach like four months that's the time your body's saying okay then you need a vacation because you're working so long and for every day and you're not getting a day off that's crazy 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 i mean it's it's not terrible but it's hard yeah it's really really hard not getting a day off and you're working like 10 hours a day 11 hours a day it's crazy man yeah and i mean only when you get your break you can you know um do what you want to do but once you're working you're just working because for example the ship that we old um four thousand passenger you know you know that they're eating breakfast lunch and dinner so you have to provide for them because they're paying their money and they want their service so you know you have to work my next question is working on a cruise ship is a crazy experience Hmm. well it's somewhat a crazy experience and I'm, I'm not going to be dishonest and say it's a crazy experience or it's not a crazy experience it is crazy and it's a good I mean you can learn from 
so many people you can go different places you know but i mean when the work get really busy it's crazy you know and you you're tired sometimes you know you want to um relax in bed a little you have to get up and go to work you know so i would say it's crazy and it's good it's two two ways um my next question is can you swim people always ask me if me can swim i can't swim <laughs> i do wet drills and stuff like that but you know first thing they ask you can you swim me always put up my hand first 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 me always put up my hand because i mean i cannot swim i just can't swim i'm not going to be this one is and say i can swim and then me go drown no i can't swim so i always tell the officer i can't swim so you know they have an iron heel but me cannot swim <laughs> if me can swim no me not going to swim again because you know you're, you're going to have maybe some fear or something like that say okay maybe you know water going your nose and you know you can get drawn or stuff but you just can't swim nope uh, my next question is <laughs> what if you become sick or get an injury on the ship well if you become sick or get an injury on the ship right um yeah you they have medical center they have medical center where you they can treat you Depend, depending on how you're sick or how the injury is well they send you outside where the ship maybe go in Cozumel that's Mexico or in the US yes you can get to go outside and they treat you depending on how if they cannot do it on the ship they can do it outside and they take care of all that expense yes so you don't have to really worry <laughs> if you know um, if they're gonna take care of you or anything like that yes they will do it you know yeah because they have medical center there in case you know you're not feeling well or anything like that they give you time off yes because you have to get time off if you know you're not fit for duty so yes and my next question is what happen if the ship leaves someone at the port hmm. if the ship left you try no say your, your luggage is going to go off the ship and then you have to go home because they're going to determine your contract um depending on what the reason is well maybe they would look into it but normally when you're going off right when you're going off the ship um you get they show you at the gangway the gangway is where you you log out you you put your key so they can know how much persons off the ship so they always put what time like crew should come on the ship because your crew normally come on the ship like maybe half an hour 15 minutes before depending um, before the guests you understand so you have to come on ship for example 345 you have to reach on the ship for a crew yes you have to get on before 345 and then maybe um guests like um 450 that's the last so yes so if the ship left you god go with you god go with you if the ship left you that's it you understand they just they will send you home yes but try not make a ship left you yeah always maybe because you always have to you know be looking on your watch or on your phone the time always keep track of the time because they don't play they not play yeah i know somebody that um you know the ship almost left it didn't left them because when they can know if someone is not on the ship because remember you have to punch out your key and then when it, so like on the system they they show maybe two crew members not on board because they didn't clock in when they're coming in you understand so those are, those are the things but yeah man persons may I tell you run like you say bold may I tell you jump over some things and the ship almost left him mm -hmm. so <laughs> it's well the ship never left me it or tried to leave me me always you know try to be on time yeah because it's very very important very important if you know that you cannot um, make it to somewhere you better you don't even think of going there because if you're going to traffic when you're coming back the traffic is too much then for sure for sure for sure the ship can leave you yeah man and i think they will wait on you maybe um like maybe 10 minutes or so i'm not sure because i'm never in that situation where you know um the ship um left me or anything like that so yeah <laughs> 
but it's 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 really good man it's really good working on a cruise ship experience going different places meeting different people it's great it's great it's great i hope you guys enjoy this video if you have any questions i will answer a part two yes of all it is working on a cruise ship so i'll definitely answer your questions definitely yes so thank you so much for watching and i do hope you enjoy this video thank you thank you thank you thank you for your support please remember to subscribe share comment and like to this video and thank you so much i thank you all love you more